What's going on guys, it's Justin the DJ and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite tools that I use to organize my music and prep for my events. But before we do that, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. Now we've all been in those situations where it's the night before the event and we're spending hours organizing our music, scanning through the client's playlist just to make sure that we have all the music that we need. Well here's one thing that I use that saves me literal hours when I'm prepping for my events and it's called Cray Hackers. So today I'm gonna to show you all the features that Cray Hackers has to offer, starting with their curated crates. Cray Hackers has a ton of crates for you guys to choose from, with curators like ADMC, Jason Janai, Joe Bun, Fatman Scoop, DJ Vice, and even some of my personal DJ crates are on the app right now for you guys to download. So if you wanted to see how another DJ is playing their set, you can make that happen. Adding a crate to your DJ software is really easy. So right now we're inside the app, they got tons of crates that you guys can choose from. I'm gonna click on this EDM Anthems crate. We're gonna go ahead and load it up and we have all of our EDM Anthems that we can add to our DJ software. Now you can see we have all these different songs that we can choose from to add to our crate. And right here on this second song right here, Heads Will Roll A-Track Remix, you can see it's actually pulling the songs from my DJ library and letting me know what versions of songs I can add to this crate. For this one, I want to just add the regular Heads Will Roll Atrax Remix. I'm going to uncheck the old one, and that's going to be the version that's going to be added to the crate. Maybe you have 20 edits of Uptown Funk, but there's only one version that you like to play. Just make sure you select that version and you're good to go. Now, let's say you find a song on here that you don't have an edit for already on your computer. One thing that Crate Hackers is really good at is giving you record pool recommendations to where you can download those songs. So right here, I have this song Diamond Therapy by Diplo. I don't have the file on my computer already. So I'm just going to click this blue pools button and it's going to show me all the record pools that has that song that I can download from. I see that Direct Music Service has the song. I'm just going to click on this and then you can see right there. I'll click on the file and it brings me right to Direct Music Service and I just download the song right to my computer. Now from that point, we're gonna jump right back into Crate Hackers and we're gonna add that song to the file so it's added right into my Serato correctly. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Add Local File. I'm gonna go to the downloads and right there, there's my song. And now the song is being read by Crate Hackers and when I export this crate to Serato, it's gonna be in my Serato ready to mix. So just keep going down the song list, make sure you have all the songs that you want added to your crate and everything's looking good on this crate. So I'm just gonna scroll up and right here in the top right, there's a blue export crate button. I use Serato, so I'm gonna click Serato and that's it. So now I'm opening up Serato and right here at the top, we have our EDM crate ready to go, ready to mix and ready to play at your next event. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is the music charts that Crate Hackers has to offer. You can always use sources like Billboard, Spotify charts, or even Google to find those hot songs right now. What makes Crate Hackers different is that their charts are based on songs that other DJs are playing and adding to their crates. So we're gonna jump into the chart section in the Crate Hackers app. It's right here at the top left, click charts. Um, and you can see they have a bunch of different categories to choose from. So it's not just the top music in general, it's all categorized based on different genres, based on different styles of music, and even different decades. Right here at the top, we have our pop charts. I wanna add the TikTok and Reels audio. So we're gonna click that. So you can see these are all the top songs that are being used on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So if you wanted to spice up your set, get a little trendy and play music that they're hearing online and on social media, this is a great source for you. And what's really cool about these charts is that they're built like a crate. So just like any other crate in Crate Hackers, you can add the charts directly to your Serato or your DJ software and mix out of that crate. And it's the same process as all the other crates. If I have a song that I don't have, I could just go to the pools button and you can see right here, Cruel Summer, Taylor Swift, there's a bunch of record pools that I can use to download that song. Once everything looks good in the crate, again, you go to the top, click export and click the software that you use and that's it. Now this next feature is what makes Crate Hackers one of the best tools to get ready for your DJ set and that's their Spotify integration. Now we've all had those clients that instead of filling out their DJ forums, they just send you a Spotify link for their song requests. And thanks to Crate Hackers, this makes my life so much easier to the point where I actually ask my clients to give me their song requests through Spotify. Now here's a playlist that I made on Spotify and you can see there's a ton of songs on here. And going through each of these songs and adding them to my Serato is a pain in the ass. But with Crate Hackers, it makes it so much easier. So I'm just gonna go over here. I'm going to copy the link. We're gonna jump over to Crate Hackers. And right here on the left, we have our Spotify import button. 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the link right here. And now you can see we have our Spotify crate right into Crate Hackers, ready to go, ready to add all of our songs to our DJ software. And you could take the Spotify integration to the next level with their Shazam to Crate feature. Let's say you're at a bar and you hear a song over the speakers that you're like, man, I forgot about that song. I want to play that in my next set. Or maybe you're watching another DJ play and you want to add some of their songs to your DJ library. Here's how you could do that really easily. So right now I'm in the Shazam app. And if I just swipe up a little right here and there's a gear icon on the top left, you could see that there's an ability to add your Spotify to your Shazam. So I'm just going to hit connect. It's going to open up Spotify really quickly, jump right back over to Shazam. And now I'm connected. Then I'm going to sync my Shazams to my Spotify. And then Shazam will actually make a new playlist in your Spotify to where anytime you Shazam a song, it's going to add it to your Spotify playlist. So I'm in my Spotify right now and I have my Shazam tracks playlist right here. And these are all songs that I may have heard another DJ play or I heard it, you know, in the car or I went to a club or something like that. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're just going to copy the link, jump over to Crate Hackers, and we're going to paste the link in our Spotify import. And that's it. Now we have all of our Shazam tracks ready to go and ready to add to our DJ software. Now, the next thing I want to show you is their text import feature. Sometimes I'll work with a type A bride that'll add all of their song requests to an Excel spreadsheet. In most cases, this would be a pain in the ass, but again, Crate Hackers makes it super easy to add these songs to your software. So right here, I have an Excel spreadsheet with some songs. I can see our songs over here and our artist over here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of these and I'm going to copy them. We're going to jump over to Crate Hackers. And right here on the left, there's a text import feature. So I'm going to click titled crate. I'm just going to call it wedding crates and then make sure to hit paste data right here. So you can paste the songs right here in this section. We'll hit generate crate. And once it's done loading, you can see we have all of our songs ready to go in Crate Hackers. And again, you just go through the songs, make sure everything's looking good. And that's it. It's that easy to add song lists from an Excel spreadsheet to your DJ software. Now, this also works with something like DJ Event Planner, which I know a lot of you DJs use. So let me show you how that works real quick. So we're in a DJ Event Planner right now. This is an event I have coming up. Uh, they got a bunch of do not plays and must plays. I only really care about the songs that they do want. So I'm just going to highlight everything that they do want at this wedding. So I'm just going to highlight all this. I'm going to hit copy, jump over to an Excel spreadsheet. We're going to hit paste. Um, and you can see we have a bunch of info that we don't need. The only things that I do want are going to be the title of the song and the artist. So I'm just going to copy those two sections right here. And there's a couple blank spaces that I'm highlighting, but that's OK. I'm just going to hit copy on this. We'll jump over to Crate Hackers. I'm going to click text import again and title this new crates. We're going to paste these songs right in and hit generate crate. And then once you're done, you just hit export crate and then add it to your DJ software. So to sum everything up, Crate Hackers has a ton of features for you guys to use to organize your music and better prepare for your DJ sets. Personally, it saves me a ton of time when prepping for my events, and I know it's going to help you guys too. If you guys want to try Crate Hackers for yourself, Check out the link in the description or go to CrateHackers.com slash Justin 7 Days for a 7 day free trial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.